Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So Monday is going to kind of be our toss up day. We are switching our schedule up. So this Monday we are going to have a subscription box and I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and play our intro. What I've got today is the June Lola Beauty Box. Y'all know I really like this box, but when I was making some cuts, just for money issues, I uh, canceled this one, even though it is a really nice box. But today we are barefaced because our first product in this box is actually three face masks. And we are going to use one of these today. Obviously not all the way on camera, but I am going to take it out. I'm going to use the Beauty Restore. And I'm going to let my mom and my niece use the other two. We're about to have a fun little 20 minutes. Um, yeah, so basically with these, they are $15 for all three is what they retail. The box itself is $21, so we've almost made up our value just off of our face mask. But with this one... Mm -mm -mm -mm. you just pull it open Ow. and you get the mask out it's very foamy up in there but you just take this out and carefully unfold it I would assume I'm guessing it's like every other face mask I've used <laughs> and place it on your face. It doesn't feel like this one's going to have a side with more product, so I guess you can just place it either way and look crazy for about 20 minutes and come out with pretty skin. So we just take it. It looks like this is the appropriate way and put it on. And I look ridiculous. I'll be back to tell y'all how I feel. Okay guys, so that face mask was incredible. Look, I came out with a full highlight and contour. No, I'm kidding. But it was really nice. Um, I went ahead and did my whole face off of camera because we don't have any face products in this box. But we still have some seriously nice stuff. So the first thing we are going to dig into, I'm so excited about. We have got the Tease Me palette by Beauty Creations. This retails for $18, so it is a low-end palette. But it is so cute, and I've honestly considered buying it several times. It gives me uh, modern renaissance vibes. Got a nice mirror, cute little designs. Front of the palette looks like this. And I've heard some incredible things about Beauty Creations. I think they're not... a I'm not going to say they're not a dupe brand because they definitely are for some palettes. I think they have like a dupe of the Jaclyn Hill palette, you know, lots of the Morphe stuff, you know, things like that. But this isn't a direct dupe, but this is super similar to Modern Renaissance, which is my favorite palette. So <laughs> well, we should have some fun making a look with this one. So we're just going to go ahead and try this little palette out. I've got a fluffy brush. And we're going to start by setting lies all over the lid. This is just, uh, I already set my primer, but I want to go that extra little step to make sure we have a base to work off of because I've noticed that in a lot of my eye looks lately, it feels like my brush is dragging and I think I'm not setting my concealer and primer and stuff as much as I need to. So. We're going to take that first step. Then we're going to go in with peaches right here. And we're going to take this all over the crease. Ooh, some of these colors got dirty names. But that is a very pretty, obviously, peachy transition shade. I like it. We're not going to do anything crazy today just because we got three more items to test out and I don't want to keep y'all here all day long. Unless, of course, y'all want to be here all day, you know. Then I got 150 more videos you can watch if you'd like to. But I don't want to spend hours on this one little sub box. So we are just going to 
do a quick cute eye look, test out these mattes, see how they blend, try out a shimmer, and see what we think. After that color, I want to take, oh, this is so hard. Okay, I want to take Innocent. That's a brown right here. I hope y'all like my nails, by the way. I got them done. Kept them long. I don't know how I feel yet, but I kept them long for me. We're going to take this in the crease, too. And try not to build this up super dark. I don't want this brown to completely overtake my peachy shade. But we are going to set it in here. And drag it onto this outer corner a little bit. Just so it's smoked out. Really nice. I don't know what y'all think. Okay, so we want a little more depth. So this looks like the darkest color in here is this Charming right here. I'm going to take this in the outer corner and see if I can build it up. I will say off the jump, I'm not disappointed in how this performs, but for what I've heard about Beauty Creations, I kind of expected a little, a little more pigment than this. Like this is a very dark chocolate brown and I'm not even tapping off my brush and I'm still not picking up that much pigment. However, they are blending nicely and it does make a nice little in-between shade. I just wish they had a little bit more pigment, but that'll be all right. So we're just gonna build up this outer corner a tiny bit. Obviously not too much. And once we're done with that, I'm gonna take a little bit of peaches and pleasure mixed together and there is quite a bit of fallout and run that along my lower lash line just to smoke it out a little bit and then on my lid oh, oh my god my wrinkly ass you guys on my lid I'm gonna take lust well yeah, I'm going to take Lust first. That is the shimmer right here. And I'm going to pack this into the inner corner. Oh, that's crumbly. Extremely crumbly. I'm going to show you how crumbly this is right now. I barely dug into it and it's like falling apart. <clears throat> Which, I mean, that's okay. I'm just going to be careful now. But I'm going to put this into this inner corner of my eye just through here it's giving me pretty decent payout but nothing crazy impressive i mean it's working but it is a little bit of a letdown i'm not gonna lie to y'all okay 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 i got that in there kind of it'll work and then I want to take a little bit of Please Me. That's this uh, pinky shimmer right here. And I'm going to put this kind of on the outer edge. And it's pretty crumbly too, but not nearly as bad as that one was. And we're just going to pop that right here. Attempt to blend these together just a little bit. Try and get a little bit of an ombre effect go in and this one's actually got pretty pretty good color payoff is better than that last one was honestly uh it's still sketchy though i'm not gonna lie okay so that is it for this palette i'm not gonna say it was a bad option but it could so be more pigmented like i could have sprayed the shimmers but either way the mattes were still not pigmented. I didn't get a lot of fallout though, so that's good. But coming in to save the look is our next product. Let's hope it can save this look just a little bit. We have got the Kaylin Cosmetics Just Mineral Eye Polish in Bronze. And this is super cool. I swatched it the other day just to kind of see how it works. It's in a package like this. You get it out. It's got a domed applicator. And you can swatch it and it's pretty it's not like overpowering or anything 
but it's definitely really shiny. You can blend it out just to get that little bit of glitter. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this and kind of dab it in the inner corner and over the eye just to get a little, a little bit more of a payout from this look. We're going to dab it in the middle of these colors if it will work for that. Okay, so this is definitely no dupe for Stila, but you can see it kind of in the middle of these colors. In the inner corner, gives you a nice little shimmer. It's not bad. It's a cute little thing. <clears throat> However, it does retail for $15. I don't think that I would pay $15 for it, but it'll work. Um, so next, I'm going to go ahead and skip eyeliner today. I'm going to give me eyeliner in the box. So what we've got next is this Hikari Cosmetics Mascara. This retails for $15. I don't know if y'all have heard of Hikari, but I've gotten it in several subscription boxes in the past. However, I have never gotten their mascara. It is in Jet, which I assume is a solid black mascara. But we're just going to zoom in and go ahead and apply this. So far, so good. It seems to be separating. It's not really clumping at all. It looks nice. Makes these lower lashes pretty incredible. And yes, y'all, please ignore how badly my eyebrows need done. Your girl knows. I gotta plug them things. It's just painful. So we just ignore them. That mascara actually is super nice. I'm going to wear it throughout the day. I'll leave it in the description box to see if it makes my eyes tear up or anything because mascara has a horrible habit of doing that to me. If it doesn't, I may be reaching for this pretty often. I definitely like it a lot. This looks super good. And it's not transferring under my eye real bad okay so that mascara is definitely a win so far so good i like it it's really light but still gives me a lot of length i don't know if y'all can really see that on camera but trust me if i don't like a mascara i'm very vocal about that <laughs> but the next thing we have got and the last thing we have got is a Glow by Glory Glow Sticks Honey Bun Lippy. This is $18 retail. And it's just a matte, semi-matte liquid lipstick, depending on how it does today. We may have a wear test on this thing, probably in a few weeks. You know, the drill with that. But the color is Honey Bun. It looks like this. Packaging's pretty cute. It's got the brand name. All that stuff right here I think this is a lesser known brand I know I've never heard of it until it came in this box but we are just gonna go ahead and put this on and see how it looks I swatched it the other day and I have scrubbed and I've still yet to get it all off my hand so I think it performs pretty well Okay, so this is the color of this lippy. I definitely like it. Y'all have such a mauve nude, whatever. I don't know, I got a lipstick problem in general, but this is definitely one of those really dark mauve colors that I love. Absolutely live for this kind of color. Super gorgeous. So, some final thoughts on this box. So, you all already know, first off, I'm going to drop everything. Second off, I have got to compare this a little bit to BoxyCharm. Now, that is simply because of the price point. It is $21 a month. Just like BoxyCharm, you're paying the same thing. Payment comes out first to the month. Five items, give or take a little. Okay, so <clears throat> if you're going to pick one, I recommend 
you look at what you're actually wanting. Now, if you pick boxy, you're going to get a lot of high-end stuff. However, a lot of it will be things that brands are getting rid of, discontinuing, changing formulas. Not all of it, but a lot of it. If you ever clock the palettes we get and look them up, 90% of the time, them things are on sale, or you could get them at TJ Maxx. That's all I'm saying. That's how a lot of subscription boxes work. With Lola, you don't get as much high-end stuff, but you're also not getting, like, the reject stuff, you know? Like, the stuff in Boxy is still super nice. I love it. I live for my Boxy every month. That's no hate. I love Boxy Charm. But if you get Lola, you're going to get a bigger um, assortment of things, more brands that you've actually never heard of, and sometimes the stuff is super, super good. You won't get as high of a retail value, but you'll get just as much stuff and more stuff that you can actually discover as opposed to we get tart, we get pure, we get whatever in our boxy charm. We already know we like that or that we don't. It's a big brands. So we know how we feel already. But with this, the only brand I'd heard of in here, really heard of was Beauty Creations and I actually had not tried it. I'd just heard of it. So I got to try brands that I didn't really know how I felt about them, products I had never tried, products I didn't even know existed. Like that eye polish, where'd that come from? It was really cool though. I don't know that I'll use it often, but it was cool and I got to try it. So I think Lola is definitely a good box to subscribe to. They also send you spoilers. They don't usually have as much of a waiting list as like BoxyCharm per se does. So they send you spoilers every month. Like I have been canceled for a couple of months just for money reasons. But this month they sent me, you know, the spoiler of what was gonna come. So when I got that email, I went ahead and I resubscribed for this month. Might keep it next month. I don't know yet. We're going to see. But I resubscribed because I knew I wanted to try that palette and I knew I wanted to try the slippy. So I resubscribed. And you can always do that. They pause. They do whatever. Unlike some subscriptions, you can pause however long you want to and then pick back up and say I want next month's box at any time. So that's always good. Definitely a great option. One of my favorite boxes to see coming in the mail. But yeah, that is June's Lola Beauty Box. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you Wednesday with a brand new wear test coming at you. I wonder what brand it's going to be. Leave me some comments real quick and I'll try to push whatever brand you want to see to the front of the list, guys. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye, you guys.